Hi everyone! I am back with the last Mickey and Minnie card for the 2016 Mickey and Minnie card series. This is your second bonus um, Christmas card. So, um, there were two. I'm actually going to grab the pad this time. I didn't show you guys last time. But, let me grab it. And I will show you what I'm talking about. Those of you that actually have the same pad, you will know what I mean when I say that there were two options for Christmas paper in the back of the pad. So when you get to the Christmas section, there is there's a set that's done with a cream tone to it. And then you get to the second Christmas option, which actually has the white. So that's what those ones look like. And then here's the cream ones again, because I'm not really sure I was in camera frame for that. So here's the cream colors, and then here's the white. So I decided to actually do both for you guys. So this is going to be the second Christmas card, but this is the last card of the series. So after this one, I will be moving on to the 2017 um, series, which I have already put up the supply video and all that stuff. So um, I'll be working on those ones next. So let's go ahead and make this card. Okay, so your cardstock base is going to be four and a quarter by 11. And on your 11 inch side, you're going to score at one, then you're going to score at six and three eighths, and six and a half. Okay, so that's our scoring. So now we'll just fold up all of our score marks here. Let's do this one. Sometimes they fold. <laughs> pretty easy and sometimes they don't. Okay. That one wasn't too bad. Our bottom flap here. Okay. So then you just want to take this and kind of push it. So you want to make sure that you've got your match book shape like that. Now we're going to go ahead and staple. And I'm just using my little tiny Stampin' Up stapler here about two-thirds of the way up, so you don't want to staple it shut. Just a couple staples to hold it. And so we're going to go ahead and decorate this bottom flap, which I'm using some real red cardstock from Stampin' Up. And this measures four and one-eighth by seven-eighths. And then my striped piece is four by three-quarters. So we're going to go ahead and just layer this, stick that right on the front, okay so there's our layering, we're going to go ahead and attach this to the front piece. This tape is super sticky. Okay. All right, there's our little striped piece. Now our top layers here for the top panel, again, is real red. And this is four and one eighth by four and three eighths. And then my pattern piece, I'm using the little gift packages is four by four and a quarter. So we'll just layer this, get that right on the front. Okay, just like so. There's that, and we'll just put this right on the front. Super easy layering. And 
I'm pretty excited about the 2017 series. I really like the card that I chose that was suggested out of many suggestions. I was kind of overwhelmed with all the suggestions I had received on what type of card style to do. I really like the one that I picked, so I'm super excited to do that one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put our little mat inside, which is our three and three quarters by three and three quarter inch piece, I believe. Does that even look like a square? I'm going to measure this because this doesn't look right. Because it's not. It's three and three quarters by three and a half. Okay, so if I cut this totally wrong. So we're going to cut a little piece of white cardstock really quick. That way we can get this going. I think I did this one other time in one of my other videos too. I cut the piece wrong. Alright, we should be good now. There we go. <laughs> it's just white cardstock. And we're going to go ahead and layer this right on the inside, our little message spot. Okay, so we'll just center this like so. So there we have that. And then there's our front. Let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I'm going to use Real Red for my ink and I didn't grab it but I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use green for the inside because I picked out the tree or I could just do the gifts but I think I'm going to do the green on the inside. Okay, so here's a little scrap piece of cardstock. I'm using the Merry Christmas from the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set. I did not get this on my block straight at all. Alright, there we go. So this is the Teeny Tiny Wishes stamp set, which is currently still in the annual catalog. I'm using the Merry Christmas right here. And we're going to use the Word Window Punch, which I know I've mentioned in every single video is a retired punch, but I just want you guys to know, for those who have not watched the entire series who may not know that, so there's my Merry Christmas. Then I'm going to use the Modern Label Punch, again another retired punch from Stampin' Up! and punch out my black. So we'll go ahead and get some little rhinestones for this and then start layering this up. Okay, so now we can attach our Merry Christmas. Or if you've got one that says Happy Holidays, if you're more into a neutral ground for the season. Um, I actually celebrate Christmas with my family, so I do lots of Merry Christmas myself. So there's our sentiment. And we'll go ahead and put a couple of dimensionals on here, like so. Go ahead and place this right on the front, just kind of eyeballing the center here, like that. All right, now we'll get our Mickey and soon to be mini head. <laughs> kind of put 
position them and glue these guys down. So I have thoughts of another Mickey and Minnie series. Um, oh, because I found another card style that I totally fell in love with and I almost want to do two series running but I'm not 100% sure um, if that would be something that um, I should do. <laughs> I don't know if one is enough or if you guys would enjoy two. So let me know what you think um, down in the down in the comments if you would enjoy more than one series at a time. Um, it would still be a seasonal or holiday type style of card. So let me know what you guys think. <laughs> it's just some thoughts running through my head. Um, and as usual, I want you guys to enjoy, you know, what you're watching and such. So let me know how you feel about that. And I do have another idea for a completely separate type of series. So um, that'll be coming soon. But this is just some red eyelet ribbon from Michael's. I get the tails a little long on that one, but that's okay. So there's Minnie's bow. All right, so green, shoot, green wise, I'm going to use. Let me actually pull out my little Stampin' Up book here, and I do have a video showing this on what green is actually going to match. Oh, I think that wild wasabi is going to do it. That's how I match my ink colors with my paper that I'm using. I don't always use Stampin' Up! Designer Series paper. As you can see, I'm using a completely different pad on this. But, um, yeah, so that little book comes in handy if you have got, like, all the Stampin' Up! colors or if you've got a, the majority of them. I just made that little book and I can match most of the paper that I purchase with my Stampin' Up! cardstock and inks. So, really handy little thing. Okay. So, I kind of made a mess inking this up, so I'm going to try to be careful stamping it. Just my little tree from the Itty Bitties stamp set. It's kind of easy to over ink these tiny little stamps. Get that out of my way. Okay. Those trees turned out a little wonky, but that's okay, right? <laughs> it's not supposed to be perfect. It's handmade. Okay, there we have it. That is the last Mickey and Minnie card for the 2016 matchbook style. I hope you guys have enjoyed this entire series and liked following along and all these crazy videos I do and some are not coordinated and some are so you know whatever <laughs> just go with the flow so that's it that's our last card i hope you guys really enjoyed this cannot wait to start the new one and i'll see you guys in my next video bye